Hey guys, what's up? So this video is um, for Trash Lover Nine. I'm uh, possibly going to be ordering something from him, and um, I need to show him just something that I couldn't explain completely in words. It's easier to show. So uh, this is for him. Really fast. This is my 4100 tower crane. Just a little setup I got going. Um, so right up here on the jib tip, you see the two pieces um, up there. If you look, it's a little tall. I'm trying to zoom in on right. The one on the right is much longer than the one on the left from the point of view you're looking at it here. The one on the left is the piece that is wrong. Out of all the ones I've seen pictures on, um, people that have it on YouTube, and others just pictures of it, um, the one on the right, the little piece where the pennant line's attached to, the two pieces sticking out is what I'm talking about, that you can see the pennant lines, which are the black straps they call them, attached to it. Um, those two pieces, the little red ones on the top where they're attached to, is what I'm talking about. The one on the right is the proper one. The one on the left is obviously too short. So the one on the left, that pennant line has, sorry, has an immense amount of tension over, the, well, drastically um, much more tension than the one on the right, which I feel one day as I'm lubing down to where it has a lot more tension on it, it's just going to break the one on the left. And I don't want that to happen because these aren't just like 40-foot pennant lines, which I can easily um, get another one of. I mean, I probably can get of these too, but I just don't want to go through that hassle. So if you don't have that problem and you have the one that looks, uh, and it's just the normal one where both of those are identical length, um, I, I'm interested in it. So um, I figured I'd make you a video. I told you I would, and that's it. So those two pieces up there that focus is, I'm going to try. second. No, that's, that's it. Right there. So, you can see what I'm talking about pretty much. The piece on the right is the one, those two pieces, the one where the pennant line's attached to. The one that's on the right and the left, those have to be the same length. Obviously on mine you can see they're not. There's a little pin that I have up there trying to pull it so it's even tension, but it doesn't work. So if, if those are the same length, um, I'm interested. If not, um, never mind then. But if they're if, if it's like mine, then never mind. But if it's not, um, I'm interested in. I don't know if mine's a defect or that's a new type of thing they're trying out design. I don't understand why they would because that's not a good design. It's it's awful because I think that the one on the the left side is is the amount of tension on it. I feel like it's just going to break the string, and I don't want that to happen on it. So please, um, you know, tell me if yours is not the same. And if it isn't, I'm interested. If it is, whatever, you know. But yeah, so that's my 4100 uh, tower crane trying to get the light on it. If you guys want a review of the model, I, I could get one. Um, this has no extension kits. It's just this tall. It's quite tall. On this table, my table's pretty high anyway, so I can't really fit a super amount of tall stuff on it. But this is my tower crane, just for any of you that are just watching this video. It's really nice. I do recommend it. Um, I got mine for, um, I think on sale I got it for uh, the end of May for like 250 bucks, which isn't bad being they range for like 350 It might have even been less. I think it was maybe like $240. Um, they range for a lot more. Not even, they, get, they go for a lot more. I mean, I, I'm, I bought mine on diecastmodels.co on um, a Memorial Day sale, which was it was probably close to over $100 off. and. I just couldn't pass that up. The only 4100 I'm missing is the dragline clamshell um, magnet version, but I I really don't care about that one too much. I mean, one day maybe I'll pick it up, but frankly, I feel like I have the you know most of the set, three out of four, which is pretty good. So, and then that's my ringer, obviously. You can see it's got an American flag on it, but that's it. Stuff like that. Yeah, that's a 12 gauge. <laughs> Not part of the train. But, um, so yeah, so that's about it. So if, uh, those 
two pieces up there are, you know, as I said, um, the same length, then I'm 100% interested. If not, um, never mind, though. But thanks a lot, um, and this video is for uh, Trash Lover 9. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, any of you that haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I believe I have about 198 subscribers now. I'd love to get to 200 before Christmas. That'd be awesome. And um, thanks a lot to all you who subscribe and do watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be doing an update, model update, pretty soon and stuff like that. And I'm going to be definitely getting some really cool models for Christmas. I already know. Um, really nice ones. Um, so check in for that in about a month. But I'll be putting videos up here and there anyway. Between the uh, between now and Christmas, to all of you have a happy Thanksgiving, and um, I know it's a little late now, but have a happy Thanksgiving and all that. If or hope you had a happy Thanksgiving, but otherwise, uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching.